Thank you for coming and checking out my video. I want to do a quick tutorial. I want to do a quick how-to with uh, the phase needles. So what I have here are the phase needles. Uh, purchased them a few weeks ago. I've been using them and they've been uh, pretty great. I purchased them used uh, with the phase needle. Of course, you're going to put it onto your turntable. What I have right here are my uh, Serato Scratch Live uh, Vinyl Control LPs. Uh, they're clear. I like them because I have my eyeball slip mat, so it just kind of looks a little funky. Um, so then you put that on there, and then of course you put your phase needle onto the record. So you put your phase needle onto the record like that. What I didn't realize was that because I purchased them used, that you just need to get a uh, magnetic strip for it. So with the with the vinyl, I don't have anything connected. As you see, my wires are right here, so I'm not trying to play or show you how my scratching and mixing is. But as I move the, the um, stylus starts to turn just a little bit. Or if I'm doing something and I just bump it a little bit, then that it's, it's pretty loose, it's pretty flimsy on here. So um, I just went online, spent about 10 bucks and purchased the magnetic strip. I believe when you get the, the phase needles that they're gonna come with it, mine didn't. So, um, and as you see, I taped it down. I don't know if you can see that bubbling right there on deck one and then uh, actually ripped on uh, on deck two. Okay, so all you're gonna do is take your magnetic strip, and for me it's pretty simple. I um, I just bought these on eBay for like ten bucks. It's pretty inexpensive. And take off the plastic, take off the cover. They gave me a total of four. I do have four uh, phase needles, two as a backup. So you just put this on here and line it up with my other visual marker. And that's pretty much it. Take that and then I line up my phase needle. And now it's not moving like it did before. It's actually locked on there. It gives a little bit of a give, but Nothing like it was before where it just spun around. Once I get it all lined up, I just go ahead and put my phase needle right on here. It locks into place. So in there, pretty good. It's not going to move. You can see the record's not moving at all versus with this side. So I have it on there and uh See how it's moving? See, it's moving. I mean, I'm not that heavy handed, but sometimes I get a little amped when I scratch and we can't have that. This is supposed to be lined up with this. So we'll try that again. So we line these right up. There is no magnetic strip on this one. So, see how it's moving? Like I said, I'm not that heavy handed, but that's the difference between a perfect crab scratch and one that's just a little bit off. I went ahead and lined it up. I'm gonna press it down. Make sure that it's on there pretty solid. It does have obviously sticky on the back of it, some adhesive on the back, so I'm not gonna go anywhere. And then we just take this, put it on there. Make sure it's lined up. Now we'll try the same thing. See if I can get this bad boy to move. Not moving at all. So those are the phase needles. Obviously they're not turned on. This is my little test, but there you go. There you go. Everything is all set up and, and ready. Still pretty upset that I had to rip off my, uh, <laughs> my records a little bit uh, because I didn't have the magnetic strip. Had to use gaff tape to hold it down so it wouldn't slide all over the place. Uh, but now that I'm up and ready to go, I think my next video is going to be me doing some mixing uh, with the phase needles. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Either way, thanks for checking me out.